welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create a bar display with onboard tools of the advice builder. You are going to create the graphical elements, add the dynamization and the parameters to it. First, navigate to Library, Project in the project tree. Then right-click the folder Object Displays and select Add Display. Enter bar as name and confirm your input with OK. Now expand the folder Object Displays and open the new display with a double-click. To edit the display size go to File Settings. Enter 60 pixels for the width and 150 pixels for the height. Save the settings with OK. Select Grid Snap Config Grid from the toolbar. Activate Grid by clicking the checkbox and set each value to 10. Activate Snap as well and set both values to 5. Save the configuration with OK. After the drawing area has been configured, you can start to create the graphical elements for the bar display. Select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and draw a rectangle all over the display. Keep the rectangle selected and open the fill settings in the attribute bar. Select a light gray and save with OK. Open the same dialog for the stroke color and select none. Confirm with OK. In addition, set the stroke width to zero. As a next step, add the scale to the bar display. Expand the folder Symbols in the library and select the subfolder Scales. Drag and drop the element Bar Scale 20 into the display area. Go to the attribute bar and set the value for width to 50 pixels and the value for height to 105. Set the X and Epsilon position each to 5. Open the object's parameters in the attribute area and choose a dark grey for the scale color. Select the rectangle tool again from the toolbar and draw a rectangle exactly between the scale. Copy this rectangle with Ctrl C and paste it with Ctrl V. Drag aside the second rectangle and select the first one. Set the fill color to a dark orange and confirm the changes with OK. Open the stroke color settings and select Solid. Click on the button with the pipette symbol on it. Navigate the cursor over the dark orange rectangle and select its color with a click. Save the settings with OK. Set the stroke width to 1. Now position the copy over the first rectangle. Open the fill color settings and choose a strong orange. Save the settings with OK. To enable parameters for the object display, they have to be created. With Advice, this is easily done. Open File Parameters. Name the first parameter My Base. Enter My Base as description too. Set the behavior to mandatory. Other fields remain empty. Name the second parameter unit. Set the value $unit$ in capital letters as substitute. Enter unit as description and set the value type to string. Name the third parameter label. Set the value $label$ in capital letters as substitute. Enter label as description and set the value type to string. Enter label into the default field. For further details to display parameters, please check the advice help. Save the parameter settings with a click on OK. Select the text tool from the toolbar and click into the display area. Enter 6 times 0 and press the Enter key to exit the text editing mode. Open the settings for the fill color and use the pipette tool to select the color from the scale. Confirm with OK. Set the text alignment to Centered. Copy the text element with Ctrl C and paste it twice with Ctrl V. 
position the elements one below the other and center to the display. Select the middle element and set its text size to 8. Double click it and enter the substitute $unit as text. Finish editing by pressing the Enter key. Select the bottom text element and set its text size to 10. Double click it and enter the substitute dollar label dollar as text. Finish editing again by pressing the Enter key. Now it's time to save the display. Select the orange rectangle. The small yellow box is the reference point. It indicates the center or start point for the dynamization. Set the reference point to the bottom edge of the rectangle. Right click the rectangle and select Add Simple Dynamic. The event type node is correct. Click the R button to activate relative addressing. Select the parameter My Base from the drop down list. Select Scale for the action type. Set the minimal value to 0 and the maximum value to 100. Deactivate the option Scale X because you want the bar to scale vertically only. The value 0 for the Epsilon start scale and the value 100 for Epsilon stop scale are both correct. Save the dynamization with OK. Select the upper text element and go to Quick Dynamics Set Text. Click into the value field of the parameter, note from which the value will be taken and activate relative addressing by clicking the R button. Select My Base from the drop down list. Confirm your selection by pressing the Enter key and save the dynamization with OK. Now save the object display. Navigate to Server, My Server in the project tree and right click on Objects. Select Add Node, Data Variable in 32. Name the node Motor and confirm with OK. Expand the folder Displays and open the Display Main. Now drag and drop your object display from the project tree into the display area. Open the previous created parameters in the Attribute area and click into the My Base Parameters value field. Open the Object Selector with a click on the button with the three dots on it. Select the node Motor from the list and confirm your selection with OK. Set the value for unit to RPM and enter the text Engine as label text. Confirm your input by pressing the Enter key. Drag and drop the rocker switch from the library into the display area. Select the same node as base address. Expand the parameter group options and set the minimum to the value 0 and the maximum to the value 100. Save the display. Open the visualization from the Advice Builder menu, Guided Actions, Open Web Browser for Server, My Server, HTTP 1. Zoom the elements with the Zoom to Rectangle tool. Now you can test your object display. Awesome! You created your own bar display. As a result, you learned how to create the graphical elements, the parameters and the necessary dynamization for it.